Hello everybody, I'm your host Raging Raptor and I welcome you to the first episode of Beatdown. Today we've got the E100 versus the mouse. Beatdown being one little fight to death. Three tanks versus three tanks. One after another they enter the ring to show you what they can do, if they can succeed. Can the E100 win against the mouse or will the heaviest tank in the game of 188 tons win the game? Everything is allowed, HE is allowed, heat is allowed, APCR is allowed. Everything is allowed in that game for today. And guys, I am looking forward to show you this two, three games depending how it goes because this is going to be a best out of three you get that guys awesome we have the potential to look at three games where the e100 is going to fight off against his brethren in arms the mouse and yes this idea was sparked by one of wargaming's video on a german channel at least which was called schlagabtausch in german which is just like um punch trade basically a literal translation and there they showed how the e100 was doing just he only against the mouse and we we're like dude we are a good clan this 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 is garbage like who the hell is, is, is even fighting in game like this who the hell is fighting in game like this we all know that good players are or are uniscums we are gold spamming idiots right so let us show or let us show you if the E100 wins against a mouse when they're both spamming premium shells. And you could see already the E100 was quite lucky to get already three sh uh, two shots into the mouse turn. Uh, mouse turn or mouse turret in that kind of sense. But the mouse has the advantage of having quite easy chances to angle its turret in a proper angle. 334 millimeters of heat penetration are sometimes not enough and you can see guys Sonic 34 is definitely taking or taking a beating but he is also going to punch back 684 damage again straight through the turret cheeks and now who is being able to reload faster Ooh, the mouse has the advantage and there it goes Man, 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 first mouse Sonic beat Spicer and now he's in a talk to position trying to survive. Loading skill, please wait. We are definitely waiting for him to show us his performance. Being at the current game or in this current game, the only holder of a gun mark on the E100 or mouse in that current game. Congratulations on that and he is like... Bring me the heat mouse. I know you have APCR, but we are going to show you what we can do. The 750 Alpha gun sadly bounces on the turret cheeks. Yes, the turret cheeks are weak, 260 millimeters thick only, but guys, you've gotta hit cheeks correctly. You can't just shoot and hope for the best. But so far, loading skill, please wait, is doing a fantastic job. And with a high roll, he finishes off the first mouse. And you can see as soon as one of the fella, fellas die, the next one immediately enters the ring. Ready to set and go and take revenge. And this is where the E100 has its big problems. Angling the turret is workable, can work, but the problem is, yeah... The rangefinder is a weak spot, and as soon as he angles too much, the turret sights are going to be a weak spot again. Hence why, yes, the E100 definitely needs a buff to be a competitive heavy. Especially with such a huge lower plate. But there he goes. Me lady definitely got another shot into our contestant in the spicy looking orange and black E100 and this is where the strengths are of the E100. He has to go for the one-on-one -on -one trades while Milady definitely needs to try and bounce those shots and put out its reload time. Not DPM, DPM is pretty comparable. The E100 is even 100 HP per minute up front. 
but the mouse has the superior armor and superior gun, but a low roll. That was a big low roll. 368. They are both more or less in one shot territory, especially the E100 is for sure. He needs two more shots if he is not lucky to finish off Milady, but he can also do it in one shot if he is getting lucky, depending on how long he's going to load his skill. So guys, let's be patient and see what they are doing. You can definitely see that they are trying their best to not receive a shot. Right now it's just a waiting game. Who makes the first mistake? Obviously Milady wants to not be the guy. He wants to win. He wants to kill the E100 before he gets another shot off to make it safe. To make the game easy as w ever. The question is, what it did he reload, right? Because not only the E100 can do HE tactics, no, the mouse can too. Even though it's maybe a little bit subpar, if we have to be honest, but who knows, it can work. Making an E100 even a one-shot can work. It's all up to the players and their personal preference. And there we go! Me Lady actually loaded HE. Now it's a chance for loading skill. Please wait. He needs to pen that shot to make Me Lady a one shot for his HE. But it looks like he waited too long. Me Lady has around 11.3 seconds reload time. And those 11 seconds are long gone and he's ready to roll again. The big question is though. Is loading skill, please wait, going to take the nail into the coffin, finish off the mouse, or giving it one more shot. 750 alpha are definitely something to not be tribal with. And there we go, 792, putting Milady into the one-shot territory because Milady is also shooting HE. What are you doing, man? He could have easily penetrated. And there we go, the superior reload time, still shooting HE. What is going on? But... Now is the question, did loading skill please wait, load skill rounds or did he load the safe HE? You can tell already that this game, as soon as one of the enemies die from the opposing teams, Honey over there, she is ready to roll, she is ready to finish off Milady when it comes to the wire. And meanwhile, Kugelfee, which... I don't know, in English it's like a ball, um, oh, what's it called, elf, a ball elf basically, is also ready to roll and finish off loading skill. No way, the HE shot did only 60 damage, he is not a type 5 heavy, he doesn't deal 600 damage, it was only 60, showing off his lower plate and there he's gone. But on the contrary, Milady is open field and what? How lucky is Milady? Holy go holy gosh, what the hell? Milady bounced the HE shot from Honey. And now Honey has to go in. Does she get it? Does she get it? The mouse is fast on the backward speed. And no, man, you are getting stuck over here because I don't know. It's just some rubble against the 150 ton tank. Now, can Milady put more damage out? It's like in Super Smash. The more damage you get in in this current stock, the better you are off. And, oh, what a nice bounce of honey. Now he has to go away. Now she has to go in and finish the mouse off. And there we go. It's a 1v1. But the E100 is down 1,300 HP. He has to know what he's doing and he's going in. He says, you know what, mouse? I'm going to get you into a sumo wrestle duel. And there we go, a nice 775 shot of damage into his face. But a returning shot for 457. Might not have been the smartest idea for Honey to go into a face hack against a mouse. Because sadly for him, a mouse also have easy times penetrating lower plate M for the even hundred. This plate over here. This juicy plate is only yes 40 millimeters thick. Meaning 
everything with a 121 millimeter caliber and upwards will auto penetrate that and the mouse is no exception with a beefy 128 millimeter pack gun phew will we see where is he going to aim can honey no he's he aimed for the few ports and the dance of sumos is going further and further beyond you can see how kugelfe is beautifully angling its turret to not get penetrated sadly honey over angle too much get a shot into the truck and gives up he can't do anything anymore as exposed kugelfe is going to take the first victory of 1568 hp to spare oh boy it actually used was a pretty close game after all. The even hundreds definitely have problems when they're not well hitting properly those spots. But other than that, they can punch through the mouse turret no problem whatsoever. The 100 turret, on the other hand, damn, he's really weak against the 311 millimeters of APCR shells in general. The E100 turret is just quite weak against gold ammunition because you can see it's this German speciality or special. Flat as hell. Seriously, that's no use, man. That's no use at all. Fritz, why has you done this? This is not very good. Yeah, you, you should have done very different. I, I didn't know what this dialect was, but you know what? Let's jump into the next game. And here we go again. This time we are going from back to first. Kugelfee versus Honey D Revenge is coming on. And let's see how Honey is going to perform this time. The mouse took a very favorable position where he can hide somewhat in a side scraping position his turret against the onslaught of 334 millimeter heat, which is impressively strong. But there are better, like Russian tanks, obviously. And the VK, and there we go! There is the first bounce at the turret of the mouse, and you can see it was really unlucky up there and would have been an easy pen, but. That was not the case and a perfectly angled turret is not going to save Honey against that nice looking shot into the weak spot of the E100 turret. I'm not even sure if Kugelfe is actually shooting gold or not, but I'm pretty sure he is because he wants to get the crown, the mouse wants to get the crown and you could see that perfect looking splash of HEAT. This time, I don't think he hit the um, few ports, more the um, frontal. Sadly, sometimes the game doesn't want to show me how um, the, the shells or the shell holes are. And oh my god, that would have been such a great shot, guys. But sadly, Honey hit those plates, which absorbed fully the HEAT shot into the lower plate of the mouse. And because he's showing his side armor, I slightly overturned there. No worries whatsoever and penetrated easily the side run frontal road wheel. Man, 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 it can be quite a tricky task now. Sadly, sadly, Honey is already 1200 HP, 758 HP back and he can't penetrate. And what was that? What was that? One of the E100s made a mean comment and Honey is giving up for this game. Guys, come on, don't be so rude. Honey gave up his tank and he's going to get taken out of the game. While loading skill, please wait, is going to take the opportunity to show how it's really done maybe for having such a big mouth. I'm on objectively not going to show you what he wrote. Uh, first of all, it is in German, second of all, it was a little bit mean, hence why giving up on this game. But right now, wow, he definitely didn't took too much. Uh, he didn't beg for too much. He knows what he's talking about. 932 damage, it's, that's the highest, almost, excuse me, 
almost the highest possible roll he could do against a mouse. And look at that, another pen shot, beautifully done. Somebody got lucky for saying something so mean. But there we go, Milady finally got a shot back, didn't hit the few parts, it looks like just hit the frontal plate of the turret. Which, as already said, is not too strong. And once more, somebody of the 100s tried to hit the lower plate. Would have been a really cheeky shot, but sadly, got stopped by the side skirts. We were already thinking, hey, maybe, maybe, maybe loading skill is going to show you how it's done. Maybe it's going to survive with full HP. But no, there we have it. One sad bounce on the side. What a pity right there, and he's down to 1200 HP against the mouse. The mouse definitely has the upper hand with its better turret protection. Even though the DPM is slightly lower, the E100s have a lot harder time to actually penetrate the, the, um, the mouse. There we go, once more a shot through the turret, even destroying apparently the the turret themselves from um, loading skill please wait and what was that shot sadly a bounce into the cheeks but on return there is another bounce because skill or loading skill please wait showed how amazing you can use your gun to your advantage here we go damn that shot you sadly couldn't see, but went right into that spot, which is one of the major weak spots of the E100. If you just think about it, this plate can even be penetrated by an ISU-100 with the 122mm gun. Because if we have a look at the damage model, quick interruption, yeah, 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 you can see 40mm plate. This 40mm plate is easy as hell to penetrate for anything which has 121 millimeters of caliber or higher. So yeah, sadly you couldn't see because it's still kind of broken, but... Whoa, wow. Loading skill please wait immediately took out the mouse, but Milady was already on the trigger. Saying it not to say it twice, he just finished off and we're already starting again. Look at that. Who is it this time? Spicer versus Milady. And he already got a hefty shot into the mouse. And what a beautiful bounce by Spicer. Sadly, he bounces as well at the turret from there. You can see that little spot of metal being molded, but not penetrated. Can he once more bounce? Yes, he could. He wants more bounce with skillful turning, and there we have it. Another HEAT pen shot on the mouse turret. And what was that? What was that? Just the D track. No, Milady. Are you getting killed by the easiest stuff? Do you go down without doing a single shot of damage? He's down to one shot territory. No, there we go. There we have. One more shot in by Milady. Now is the question, is Spicer going to be lucky? Does he deal an 819 roll? No, 743 and a beautiful return shot into the lower plate, which we sadly can't see for some reason. I'm really sorry for that, guys. Really, really am. But, ah, damn, another shot by Milady. Now, can Spicer finish off the mouse with a spicy HD shot? Yes, he could. Last contestant in the ring by the mouse team. He is up 1800 HP, driving his mouse, already aiming for the perfect shot on Spicer. It's Sonic 3 4. And let's see what he can do. He's going in, he knows he has the HP advantage. Now he's carefully waiting. A lot of wrecks on the E100 side. Guys, this game is still isn't over. Yes, the E100 is down HP. But when things like this happen, like this dumb bounce. Ooh, Spicer just nailed the furthest back corner of the turret and somehow miraculously penetrated it. 
Now is the question, can Spicer bounce? Yes, he can. The truck absorbs the shot and Sonic has to retreat once more behind cover. And there we go, guys. 822 damage, seals the deal and yes, the advantage of the mouse is gone. It's a fair fight even, almost. The mouse needs three shots, the even hundred needs when he's lucky, two shots, maybe even three. It comes all down to the wire. 733, that was a low roll, yes! If the even hundred is doing one more high roll, he can win. Guys, this, this, is, this could be it. Who is going to win? Depends. Seriously, who has chocolate with him? Who is confident in their aiming? You can see both are aiming and... Sonic was faster in reloading, winning the game with 733 hit points. What a grandiose battle. I don't know what to say anymore. That was absolutely stunning by all of the contestants. Sadly, Honey got really unlucky before getting psychological warfare by her own team and giving up the fight. But one more penetrating shot could have sealed the deal to go into the third and final round of the best out of three World of Tanks beatdown. The mouse won, showing off its beautiful colors. And there we have it. Yeah, the only real spot where the Evan Hunter could penetrate. The beautiful, beautiful cheek heat penetration. So guys, this was the first episode of World of Tanks Beatdown. Who, which tanks should we get into the ring next? Let us know in the comment section below and we are definitely up to the task to do it. Here you see, try hard forever, really. Those guys wasted a lot of credits, with me included, to get the sickest games possible. So let me know what you think, Sh write down in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all guys later.